India Today's Shivarur got this exclusive access to C-295 aircraft earlier. Here's a ground report that uh, he sent us from Spain. We're here in Sevilla in Spain at an Airbus assembly facility to see something that Indian journalists are seeing for the first time. That is the first C-295 aircraft for the Indian Air Force. This aircraft is the first one that's been built by Airbus, a part of 16 such aircraft that are going to be built at this sprawling facility and delivered very soon. This particular aircraft is going to be delivered in just the next few uh, weeks to the Indian Air Force, after which uh, 15 more such aircraft will be built at this precise facility uh, in Sevilla, in Spain, for delivery to the Indian Air Force. So I'm walking around the aircraft. It's a first look at C-295 number one. For, for the Indian Air Force. It's going to be fulfilling a long-standing need that's been felt by the Indian Air Force for over a decade. It's a, it was a requirement to replace the old vintage British HS-748 Avro aircraft. I'm walking around the first C-295 now uh, under the tail area of this aircraft. The important thing about the C-295, remember, uh, isn't the fact that the first 16 are going to be built uh, here in Spain. And uh, here on in India today, you know, we've gotten first access to the aircraft uh, also because something very important is taking place back in India. 16 of these aircraft are going to be built here in Spain, but the other 40, as many of you will know if you've been watching India today on my show, is that the other 40 are going to be built in Vadodara at a Tata facility. These aircraft will have their technology transferred by Airbus to their partner Tata, and then Tata becomes the first Indian private sector company to build military aircraft for the Indian Armed Forces. The Indian Air Force operates aircraft like the AN-32. The Avros, of course, are being phased out. But these aircraft are going to be fulfilling an extremely crucial need. Remember, the Air Force operates aircraft uh, for many different things, but its transport aircraft are crucial because India is geographically large. We've got all kinds of terrain. This particular aircraft is capable of landing on unprepared surfaces. It's designed for operations of high altitude areas, uh, which is a particularly difficult thing, uh, you know, in, in, in aviation because of the, uh, the thin atmosphere and the various other challenges. And remember, India has important, crucial air bases at high altitude, whether it is Leh, whether it is Thois, the world's highest military airfield, uh, which is Dalat Peg Oldi, uh, is, also in, uh, is, in, is also in India. Uh, and the aircraft of this kind has been proven to be able to operate uh, from such forbidding locations. Now, 56 aircraft of this kind uh, will be built for the Indian Air Force. That number might go up because the Indian Air Force, apart from uh, replacing its old Avros, also has to replace over 100 AN-32 uh, aircraft. And AN-32s, remember, are of Ukrainian origin great aircraft, their workhorses uh, of the Indian Air Force, but they are also aging and will need to be replaced by new generation transport aircraft of the kind that the C-295 is. Whether or not that happens remains to be seen, but with an Indian factory churning out these aircraft uh, between now and 2031, uh, it stands to reason that, uh, uh, you know, th this very same aircraft should actually replace the AN-32. Uh, apart from the Indian Air Force's own requirement, uh, this is a very versatile aircraft in the sense it's not just a transport aircraft. Look at it as uh, a bit of a Swiss Army knife. Uh, it depends on what you put into it. You can sling on a maritime radar, it becomes a maritime patrol aircraft, uh, very much like what the Indian Navy and the Indian Coast Guard are looking at. About 15 aircraft in total is what they're looking at. Uh, it, can, uh, it can be used for land surveillance if you put on the right kind of sensor. The border security force is looking for that kind of capability. Uh, you know, if you add passenger seats, you can convert it into a short-haul regional airliner. India needs many hundreds of those kind of things. Uh, if you, uh, you know, add anti-submarine sensors and uh, a torpedo capability, it can become an anti-submarine aircraft. If you put a radar on its back, it can become an airborne early warning platform. Uh, so what I mean is uh, it's very modular. It depends on what you want to do with the aircraft and it can be used for all these different kinds of purposes. So if you have a production line for the C-295 in India, uh, it becomes something very useful for India's 
different and very disparate needs across different terrains. So it's historic in all kinds of ways because the C295 uh, not only fulfills all these needs but gives India an aircraft manufacturing capability in the private sector which has never been there before. Airbus has had a long relationship with India, but this is for the first time that such an ambitious and landmark project is being executed. 56 of these aircraft being built 100%, almost 100% in India by the end of the entire program. In Sevilla, Spain, this is Shiv Arur for India Today. The Shiv Arur's uh, exclusive ground report from Spain. In